The summer night was heavy with the scent of cornfields and impending doom. Villisca, Iowa lay still beneath the stars, and on 2nd Street, the Moore family and their two young guests, Ina and Lena Stillinger, were about to step into the abyss of horror. Josiah Moore, a sturdy man with a perpetual grin, locked the front door with a sense of security that would soon crumble like a sandcastle against the tide. Sarah Moore, his graceful wife, tucked their children into their beds, unaware that their innocent slumber would soon be shattered. The Stillinger girls, visiting for a sleepover, whispered secrets and giggles, blissfully unaware of the malevolent force that lurked in the shadows. As the clock struck midnight, a silence fell over the house like a shroud. Unseen footsteps crept through the darkened rooms, the floorboards groaning under their weight. An intruder, cloaked in darkness and wielding a sinister axe, slipped from room to room, their intent as chilling as the night air. The door swung open with a haunting creak, and the intruder descended upon the unsuspecting victims. The house echoed with the sound of bones cracking and the sputtering gasps of those whose lives were slipping away. In the dim light of a kerosene lamp, the intruder painted the walls with blood, leaving behind a gruesome tableau of carnage. When the first rays of dawn pierced the curtains, they revealed a nightmare. Eight lives, innocent and unsuspecting, lay extinguished. The Moore family and the Stillinger girls had been claimed by an evil that defied reason, their lives stolen in a frenzy of brutality that reeked of madness. Villisca awoke to a horror it could not comprehend. Authorities descended upon the town, their investigations yielding more questions than answers. Who could commit such a monstrous act? What drove them to such unspeakable violence? And why, in the midst of the bloodbath, did the killer leave behind the murder weapon, a grim reminder of their malevolence? The years passed, but the questions endured, like the ghostly whispers of the victims that seemed to linger in the dark corners of the house on 2nd Street. Rumors of spectral apparitions, chilling sounds, and ghostly encounters shrouded the place, turning it into a macabre attraction for those drawn to the inexplicable. The Velisca Axe Murder House, as it came to be known, became a place where the boundary between the living and the dead blurred. It stood as a testament to the enduring power of the unknown, a place where the past bled into the present, and the horrors of that fateful night refused to be forgotten. And as the moonless nights continued to envelop the cursed house, it whispered a chilling truth. Some nightmares never truly end and the darkness that dwells within the human heart is a force more terrifying than any ghost or demon.